What's up lords and ladies, welcome back to another video on this channel. So in today's video, just like promised, I'm going to be showing you guys step by step a meal plan on how to get your bearded dragon to eat its veggies. Now I am going to be claiming this to be a bulletproof meal plan to get any bearded dragon to eat its veggies. So I'm I'm really taking a big leap here because if, if, if it doesn't work, a lot of you guys are going to be really angry. But on a real note, um, I truly believe that this is one of the best methods that I've used for my bearded dragons when they stopped eating veggies or when I had to transition them over from eating superworms or crickets and protein to just mainly eating veggies. Now, there's so many different techniques and I definitely recommend that you try different ones, not just this one, but this is the one that has worked for me, so I wanna share it with you guys and give you guys a step-by-step -step on what to do. Now, it's gonna require work. Trust me, it's not gonna be like a one trick fixes it all and, and you could like start feeding it tomorrow. It's going to take work. It's going to take at least a month of you consistently doing this. But I'm gonna give you guys a week to week exactly what to do in this video. Now, another thing, as many of you guys know, bearded dragons are always completely different. There's different shapes, different sizes, different colors. So depending on the bearded dragon that you have, it's also gonna determine whether this is going to work. If you have a bearded dragon that is a lot older, let's say like six years old or a couple years old, then chances are it's already used to its old habits. So it's gonna take a little bit longer for you to try this. It might even take two to three months of you consistently doing this. But what you're basically doing is trying to break certain habits that bearded dragons have or teaching new habits as well. So it's going to take a bit of work and at the same time you also want to make sure that your bearded dragon is healthy that the temperatures are on point and you're doing your part of taking care of the bearded dragon too you know i get so many messages and this is the number one message or question that i get every single time how do i get my bearded dragon to eat veggies now with no background knowledge i can't really know exactly what to give you but this right here is just a good overall of what I've used for almost all of my bearded dragons and it has worked. So with that being said, be sure to subscribe to this channel for more educational videos like this and hit that post notification bell button and like button. But with that being said, let's just get started with the meal plan. Okay, week one now right in front of me we got saturn now saturn tends to be a little bit of a picky eater when it comes to eating its veggies but he loves superworms so one of the things that you want to make sure is to figure out what your bearded dragon likes when it comes to protein and really all you're going to need is a leafy veggie and some of its favorite food. Now, I like using superworms. It's a little bit easier for this technique. So if your bearded dragon doesn't like superworms, then you might have to try something else, maybe hornworms or something. But what you're gonna be doing is getting the leafy green, and he's kind of already, you know, switched over and developed this habit. That's why he's already trying to eat it. Hey, you're supposed to pretend like you're, you don't like it. Dude, okay, okay, we're gonna give him a piece. Is you're gonna take a leafy green, and you're going to roll it, right? <laughs> oh my God, Snoop Dogg would be so proud right now. <laughs> but you're gonna roll it and fold it just like this. Now from there, you know, of course, assuming that your bearded dragon does not like veggies, since I've been doing it to him for a very long time, he's already basically used to it, so he already knows what's coming, and that's the point that you wanna get to. But what you're gonna be doing from this point is the good old switcheroo. Now, a lot of you guys have been maybe doing this, but have been doing it a little bit wrong. I would say to do this for about a month. Yeah, it's gonna take a while, but I'm gonna show you guys what you do in week two. So on week one, what you're gonna be doing is basically just getting your bearded dragon to eat superworms or its favorite food. And you could either go in there and try to squeeze the veggie in there while it's eating but you could also do this switcheroo right there and superworm is still alive and he's eating its veggies right <laughs> okay so week number two now 
on week one, um, you might have to do week number two, the same thing, do, you know, week one um, for two weeks or even three weeks, depending on how your bearded dragon responds. But, so you're gonna put the super warm down and then you're basically going to offer your bearded dragon the leafy green. <laughs> There you go. Now, if you notice what I did there, I didn't roll up the leafy green. I gave it to him in full. So this is now creating that habit of, hey, you know what? I could eat leafy greens. And the whole point is that you could now be able to go up to him and give it to him like this. Um, so you went from rolling it and I would suggest try out, you know, both methods. Maybe your bearded dragon will take that if it's starting to notice it and you would, wouldn't have to do this for the second week. But what I like to do is get them just used to eating leafy greens because some bearded dragons, they just spit it out. They don't like it. But when it's rolled up like, like a worm, they, they just kind of like deal with it in a way and they basically just chew on it. But when you're giving it to them in the second week like this, and instead of rolling it, they start developing that pattern and wanting to basically just eat it because it's right in front of them and it doesn't look as bad. So they would actually eat this. As you can see, he ate a full leaf without me having to roll it. Okay, so week number three. What you're gonna do is get a leafy green and roll it up like a superworm. Now he's going to be confused and eat it. <laughs> it's that simple and you could just go and give him an extra piece. So what I did there was rolled it up like a superworm, gave it to him, offered him that leafy green as well, and he ate both of them. So rolling it up, giving it to him, maybe even moving it around with the tongs and just offering it to him, he's gonna be like, wait a minute, this looks like, you know, um, a worm, let me just eat it. And usually because he's already tasted the superworms, before he's gonna associate each time that little tiny you know rolled up leaf goes inside of its enclosure it's basically a worm and um, you start creating a good habit so that went really well now from there week four might be you know you rolling a bunch of leafy greens and making a salad like that and yeah it might look a little bit ridiculous but if it works your bearded dragon from that point on is going to start eating leafy greens now it might take a step back you might have to redo this you might have to do this for another month but doing this every single week eventually your bearded dragon creates a habit because this bearded dragon here didn't want to eat any of its veggies and now it's eating veggies with this basically technique so I'm super excited to hear your success stories of you guys doing it you know keep track keep records um, you know maybe just keep a schedule every single day and it doesn't have to take so long as you saw it, it takes literally seconds to do um, if you notice your bearded dragon becoming stressed or your your bearded dragon doesn't like you know, being hand fed or tong fed, then you're going to have to basically teach it that first before you teach it something else. So I might do a video talking about how to get your bearded dragon to um, tong feed. <laughs> Come in the picture, dude. I might teach you guys um, or make a video in the future on how to get your bearded dragon tong fed and tamed and everything. So let me know if that's something that you guys would like to see because, you know, of course your bearded dragon, in order for this to work, um, needs to at least know you know how to be hand fed or at least tongue fed um, but hopefully this video has worked out for some of you guys I want to hear your success stories if you actually go forward and try this method and it is a lot of work like I said it takes about a month but guess what if you do this every single day eventually your bearded dragon creates a good habit and just wants to eat the veggies and is okay with it so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video be sure to like share subscribe i'm lord Alliance. this right here is saturn keep the blood pumping and i'll see you guys in my next video peace you gotta hit that notification hit that notification hit that notification button baby you gotta hit that notification hit that notification hit that notification